Hi, good afternoon everybody. Uh, I got a request to do this from Secure Network Architect. Uh, just please note, I'm going but quickly on this. So it's a free room, you can everybody can read on it. So basically I'm about to implement security best practice for network environment. Uh, learning objective and stand the principle of secure network architecture design, uh, network safety protocol and things. So let's go. So I know many people might be stuck in this one. So let's do. Uh, the first part is uh, uh, need for secure segmentation. This is more if you did the Cisco CCNA, you, you know these things. Uh, when you do VLAN to to separate network, especially like for example, also if you have an IP phones, you put them in different VLAN, compute a different VLAN, and then VLAN can talk to each other with uh, a bridge, if I'm not mistaken. It took uh, the CCNA a while ago, so yeah, using tag. I, I don't remember this. I uh, know I remember the tagging part, and then routing between VLAN, use the bridge or the trunk. I uh, use the trunk. Uh, switch port. I think this one would be better if there was a, a demo for router you can play with it. A command they give you uh, this uh, virus route or something. I don't know it's a certain interface, uh, and then you create the VLAN, then uh, some authorization or yeah, something like that. In any case, let's go analyzing the VLAN configuration. Learn to analyze the VLAN configuration given the output billet. So you can see the trunks bridge 2, bridge 1, bridge 0, and then you have the network and the tags of it. So if you look at this question, answer how many trunks are present in the configuration? You can see 1, 2, 3, 4. Guys, I'm going quickly so it might help someone. I'm not going for detail here. What is the VLAN ID of for it? 12. 12, so we have this. So tag is B30. Uh, and then his common secure network architect, of course, these zones. Of course, you always we have like um, the outside world, then go DMZ where you put that website, something like that. Then the local stuff of the company, like a trusted zone, like uh, workstation and company stuff. A risk created zone is the one, for example, domain controller and the most sensitive information. So usually it come like that, for example, uh, from the above table, where the zone connecting from public server. If public server will be external. Let's go to, because I'm a bit busy today. From the above table, what's on the public server? Public server usually put in DMZ zone. Uh, DMZ. Then from the above table, what zone will the core domain control? The common control will be in... In restricted area, so it's no, not in trusted. Trusted the computer of the company, so should be restricted here. If we go here, what is doing here? Uh, network security policies and control. Uh, okay, the ACLs. Yeah, remember. I'm not sure this. I remember too many things because now there is that um, next generation firewall. I'm not sure they would use this all of this information. Uh, I remember the ACL2, you do access list, deny list, deny by default, a drop, uh, permit, deny, things like that. For example, if I read this, below is a diagram following a valid SSH request. So, uh, source IP, destination, what is the SSH port? Yeah, destination port, destination IP. Set policy access list 1. This below is um, for a uh, request denied by SSC. So, source this. Where's the port 22? Destination port 2. Why is it SSH here? Where's the drop protocol? I don't see the. Sorry, I don't see. What the hell? I don't know. Below is the game showing invalid SSH request denied by. Oh, this. Uh, yeah, yeah. So basically, this uh, because the, the source IP 10.10.09 10, type of version. Why is denying it? If not implemented, the router will not drop or accept packet based on the source of destination address. Uh, source port. So the source and destination. 
is going there validate it's in disable so it's to the nine so not sure exactly what the hell is that in any case so if we go now this what is it below each packet an NCA policy required answer the f question using the two so packet one and that's the policy what the policy do rule when permit if the source is 25550 and the network mask uh, the source is 10 10 12 2 so it's in this one so the mask is correct so this it should it should pass through because we have the IP 10 10 10 the source IP the mask is 2 5 so we have 0 so we have that so the first one should be accept the second one it deny if a destination to this uh, destination to this so 10 10 12 209 so we have that action deny so it's a drop guys again so in case someone will give me this like like some people they do um, as I said I got a request for this room I'm doing my best people you can read all the information yourself so let's not go there because uh, sometimes people they just give you dislike without even commenting or something you put a video five minutes and you get dislike. Sometimes you just uh, to myself, why I should waste my time? Uh, who, no, here we we we're doing the firewall and then do uh, the idea of zone pair. So basically, like here we have all the the permission, the zone from a WAN to DM, DM to the router, router to LAN, like this triangle. So. And we have this. We do know this. That uh, you can see now. You, defi you define this, uh, the policy for each endpoint, like a DMZ here. A default, for example, drop the internet interface. Here, the protocol that if you want to allow, like for example, here you can see it define LAN when uh, part. Default is drop. Uh, and then a rule two, and then. Here way they allow the, the, the INCP, so, oh, the action drop, so if this one is drop, then the reverse, when to learn, the drop by default, log, log enable, accept action rule 100, rendered what is this, okay, I actually forgot my CCNA course, uh, this isn't, po uh, then you add a firewall like that, so, We'll practice now, we'll see. Now they give us this, um, we have triangle here, the DMZ, because it's a time, I'm not starting it now, we'll start it now. So the DMZ, and then they ask us, we are not doing the, now that you have an instance of how to create a basic zone pair policy, launch the static attach to tick, site button, use the tip below to fill the blanks provide in static site. Uh, remember, we're not doing the whole, the whole permis uh, permutation hall, we're only doing this part and the protocol is HTTP if, uh, we'll see now let's play around here, let's, let's do you see now, if you look in this room, the the green one is HTTP HTTP should work for the DMZ to learn DMZ to learn DMZ to learn is working, the red one is the TCP is not going I'm a bit confused in this part because when I start it, of course, you see I need to do a DMZ by default, you know, always it's drop then a DMZ interface is, uh, where is the DMZ? it's 0, 010 then we have the LAN default action drop then we have um, the LAN the interface is uh, 020 so it's that one then we have a, a firewall rule so we have DMZ 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 learn this these things 
DMZ LAN what we described, if we put DMZ then we'll come back now to so firewall name we're doing this part the, the rule 100 D DMZ firewall name DMZ LAN DV auction of course it drop def uh, auction by default it's drop then we need to have that rule 100 DMZ LAN DV action because now we need to accept the HTTP request and then this handed protocol where is it DMZ LAN? DMZ LAN uh, the protocol is HTTP so we need to accept HTTP so if I they run it tell me I'm wrong you have two emerimeter the issue is here the, I don't know why because for me the only one accept is DMZ1 uh, DMZ I don't know why you sh is it because to block a TCP so anyone if have an idea why this part is DMZ1 please let me know I get the flag but please anyone uh, know why why this one is DMZ1 Please let me know in the comment. I'm a bit confused. They try to understand this. Why why the part why this is called D why we need to call it DMZ1? Because it means you need to drop TCP in the firewall. So the, uh, the HTTP need to go through. But I don't I don't get why the description need to be this way. I'm not sure really. Anyone, someone has a, uh, has an idea, please let me know guys. Does the SSN special require many the middle at um, middle proxy? Uh, where is it? It's here. So of course it it does. So if guys, you can read about it. What platform process data sent from the SSL proxy? Uh, what platform? Okay, we don't need this one now. What platform process data sent from the SSL proxy? I don't see it now. Uh, even the fiber and the uh, between device and outside world with temperate potassium plain text password cooperation must have a prone the for example a center process by the UTM unified management. Guys it's free room you can read about it and I uh, just doing this room. DHTP sniffing is one way to kill the, the switch if I remember very well to see my CCNA we have a, you can have a rag switch a rag um, network point and then uh, you you no no that's DHP starving or something I, I think I'm confused between them rag HP server because what you want you want uh, the legitimate computer to get the IP from your rag unit that's why you call it rag DHP server dynamic app inspection uh, okay this one. I'm did this some specialists people ask me about help in this room so I give you an idea and then you guys you can read and if you have better solution let me know what does DCP snooping store the uh, DHP snooping where he store his IPs in DSP bind database I think this room need more labs uh, you can just uh, read it like that and just text in it lab so which will we will a switch drop or accept DHCP release where is it DHCP release or DHCP packet receive and trusted interface and does not match interface that source address already has registered he said should drop so basically it's a drop does dynamic ARP inspection use the ACP binding database? Dynamic ARP inspection is security feature valid address resolution ARP packet network. Validate and rate limit ARP packet is necessary. If the ARP packet mark is IP address do not match, the protocol will intercept. Uh, let's recap the DC binding data provide the unexpected mark and IP pair for untrusted host. So basically, he use it. So, so it should be yes. 
dynamic abspection will match an IP address and what other packet details uh, it should be the MAC address expected the MAC and IP address the MAC address and ok that's guys a quick work through and then uh, if, yeah, for that uh, part, if someone has better answer the question, please let me know. Oh, I already do it. I'm trying to trick triag me. So if anyone has better better answer here to this part, please let me know why we need, why we call it DMZ1. I'm a little bit confused in this part, but at least this solution work. I'm understanding part of it. Uh, okay, so please like and subscribe if not you already subscribe and have a good day.